And we're good. <laughs> that surprising jolt, that's electric acceleration, and it's rewriting what speed and comfort on the water feels like. It's honestly almost every aspect of the experience gets better. You can hold a conversation. It's absent any sort of fumes. It's more performant. You could accelerate unlike anything you can do on a gas boat. And then you get unlock all this incredible software that takes that experience from better to, to best. We met Mitch Lee, the co-founder of Arc Boats on Lake Mead, about 30 minutes away from the hectic CES show floor for the chance to test drive their new all-electric sport boat. Yeah, I could get used to this. Despite the skepticism from the current administration about investing in electric, Lee says his boat is a direct competitor to other premium sport boats, using a lot of the same tech found in EV vehicles, regardless of rolled back incentives. The president has made comments about electric batteries and water. Is there actually anything to be concerned about there? Uh, no, not really. Think about your electric cars. They go through car washes. They do all this crazy stuff in and around water. Now you contrast that to the safety profile of a gas boat, those things catch on fire frequently. Back on land, despite most automakers rolling back their EV plans to focus on autonomous driving, Startup Electric Fish is banking on their battery-powered fast charger, with plans to partner with gas stations across the country, promising a 10-minute charge. We can charge cars faster, faster than anything else in the market, but we do not put any more stress on the grid. So we can grow that infrastructure right now. We do not need to wait for the grid to catch up. And on a drive along with Amberella, which designs imaging solutions, we saw the future of path planning capabilities for self-driving cars via their new radar tech. We also have a very long detection range and very clean detection. We can detect a pedestrian up to 350, 360 meters away. Meters, not feet, so it's almost meters. a thousand feet. That gives the car enough time to react. Whether it's on water or on wheels, the next generation of transportation has brains behind the speed. Maura Barrett, Scripps News Group, Las Vegas.